In this heartfelt video, we pay tribute to the stars we've recently lost, honoring their remarkable legacies and unforgettable contributions. BBC presenter Becky Barr We remember Becky Barr, the remarkable BBC presenter who courageously transitioned from a successful television career to become a dedicated firefighter. Becky has sadly passed away at the age of 45 after a brief battle with cancer. In a heartfelt statement shared on Becky's Instagram account, her sister announced, This morning, Becky passed away peacefully at St. John's Hospice in Lancaster. They offered the most dignified and compassionate care for the last few days of her life. Becky led an incredible life that I will post about on her account in the near future along with details of her funeral. Her sister continued, For now, I just want to say that I was incredibly blessed to have such an amazing sister. She was a very loved daughter, granddaughter, and niece, more than anything. She was a wonderful mother to Hannah. The family expressed their gratitude to St. John's Hospice for their compassionate care. They have also asked for donations to the hospice to be made in Becky's memory, to honor the kindness they showed her in her final days. Earlier this year, Becky bravely shared her cancer diagnosis on LinkedIn expressing her gratitude for the support she received from her employers at Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service. She wrote, Practically, this means I feel well, and I am on an immunotherapy regime that may keep me well for a period of time. Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service, under the very compassionate leadership of Justin Johnston, and my personal friends at work have been phenomenally supportive of me. She continued, Becky's words highlighted the importance of supporting those living and working with cancer, emphasizing the psychological and economic benefits. In 2019, Becky made the inspiring decision to leave her 20-year career in journalism to join the Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service, the same service her father Brooke was a part of. Her dedication to public service and her community was truly admirable. Becky Barr's legacy of courage, compassion, and dedication will be remembered by all who knew her. We send our deepest condolences to her family, friends, and all whose lives she touched. Rest in peace, Becky Barr. Esther Turblanche We remember Esther Turblanche the beloved South African actress best known for her role as Julian Andresi Lavery on All My Children. Esther passed away on Thursday in Los Angeles at the age of 51. The news was confirmed by her manager, Annie Spolianski. Spolianski shared her grief in a statement to CNN, describing Esther as a kind, loving, giving, and caring person who had a deep affection for both people and animals. Esther was never anything but generous and lovely to me. She added, I am grateful to have known her for the time that I did and devastated to learn of her passing. Esther captured the hearts of many with her role as Julian Andresi Lavery on All My Children, appearing in over 100 episodes between 1997 and 2001, and returning for a special episode in 2011, her on-screen chemistry with Cameron Mathison who played her husband Ryan Lavery, was unforgettable. Esther captured the hearts of many with her role as Gillian Andresi Lavery on All My Children, appearing in over 100 episodes between 1997 and 2001, and returning for a special episode in 2011. Her on-screen chemistry with Cameron Mathison, who played her husband Ryan Lavery, was unforgettable. Cameron Mathison paid tribute to his CU star on Instagram, writing, Rip my sweet princess. He added, Esther was one of the sweetest people ever. Before her rise to fame in the United States, Esther began her acting career in South Africa, where she was born and raised. She was crowned Miss Teen South Africa in 1991 and starred in South Africa's first daytime soap opera, Eagerly, Place of Gold from 1992 to 1995. In a 2022 interview with Soaps in Depth, Esther reflected on her role in Egerly, calling it a dream come true. She fondly remembered the kindness of her colleagues and the joy of working in the industry for the first time. Esther Turblanche's talent, warmth and generosity touched the lives of many, both on and of the screen. 
Her legacy in the world of soap operas will be cherished by fans around the globe. We send our deepest condolences to her family, friends, and all who loved her. Rest in peace, Mr. Turblanche. Evelyn Thomas We remember Evelyn Thomas, the powerhouse vocalist who defined the high-energy dance music scene of the 1980s with her iconic hit High Energy. Evelyn passed away at the age of 70. The news was confirmed by her longtime producer and mentor in Levin. Levin shared his heartfelt tribute on social media, stating, It is hard for me to accept that my lifelong protege really has left us. Her music will outlive us all. Born on August 22, 1953, in Chicago, Evelyn Thomas first caught the attention of the music industry when Levin discovered her in 1975. Her debut single Weak Spot became her first chart success, peaking at number 26 on the UK Singles Chart in 1976, and she quickly made her mark with an appearance on the influential British music show Top of the Pops. But it was in 1984 that Evelyn's career truly exploded with the release of High Energy. The track topped the Billboard Hot Dance Club Play chart and became a defining moment in the emerging high energy genre. A high-tempo offshoot of disco that dominated clubs in the mid-1980s. Nobody else in the world could have ever sung it, Levin noted about her vocal prowess. The pulsating dance anthem achieved remarkable commercial success selling an impressive 7 million records worldwide. As of 2024, High Energy continues to resonate with listeners, boasting over 15 million streams on Spotify. Evelyn's powerful for octave range and emotive delivery set her apart in the dance music scene, DJ and music historian Bill Brewster commented, Evelyn's voice had this incredible ability to convey both vulnerability and strength. She was a cornerstone of the High Energy movement, Following the success of High Energy, Evelyn continued to make her presence felt on the charts with soulful renditions and powerful performances. Her hits reflections and how many hearts further solidified her place in dance music history. Her discography includes notable albums such as I Wanna Make It On My Own and High Energy. In her final months, Evelyn reached out to Levin and Trench, leading to a reconciliation and the creation of a final song titled Inspirational. Though Evelyn was too ill to record it, her daughter, recording artist Aya Diamond, intends to record the track as a heartfelt tribute to her mother's legacy. Evelyn Thomas's voice and spirit will live on through her music, inspiring generations of fans. As Ian Levin said, her music will outlive us all, we celebrate her life and her incredible contributions to the world of music. Rest in peace. Evelyn Thomas. Whitney Ridbeck. We remember the life and career of Whitney Ridbeck, a beloved character actor who left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. Whitney passed away last Monday at the age of 79 due to complications from prostate cancer while in hospice care in Chatsworth, California. Whitney Ridbeck was best known to horror fans for his role in Friday the 13th Part V.I. Jason Lebs as the nerdy Roy. He brought a unique charm and humor to the film. Director Tommy McLuhan, a close friend of Ridbeck, confirmed his passing and paid tribute to him on Instagram, describing him as not only a truly funny comedian and actor, but one of the most good-hearted human beings I've ever known. Born on March 13, 1945, in Los Angeles, Whitney Wilbert Riedbeck's journey into acting began with his education at Pasadena High School, Pasadena City College, and C.L. State Fullerton, where he studied theatre in the early 1970s. He showcased his mime talents with the Richmond Shepherd Mime Troupe and the L.A. Mime Company. Ridbeck's screen debut came in 1970 with an episode of Nanny and the Professor. He and McLuhan also appeared as silent robots in Woody Allen's Sleeper 1973. Throughout his prolific career, Whitney Ridbeck graced numerous TV shows, including The Brady Bunch, MSH, Cagney and Lacey, Highway to Heaven, 
Star Trek, The Next Generation, Living Single, Party of Five, and Scrubs. ADS kids will fondly remember Ridbeck as one of the crash test dummies in PSA's promoting seatbelt use, which became iconic for their humorous approach and memorable line, you could learn a lot from a dummy. Ridbeck also appeared in notable films such as Love at First Bite, 1979, Rocky 2, 1979, and Steven Spielberg's 19 for 1, 1979. In the NBC kids show Whitney and the Robot, he starred as a cat driver who discovers a robot from another planet. More recently, Whitney Ridbeck taught drama at Pasadena City College, sharing his passion for the arts with a new generation. He is survived by his girlfriend of 10 years, Claire. Whitney Ridbeck's legacy will live on through the countless roles he played and the hearts he touched. Rest in peace, Whitney. Your talent, humor, and kindness will never be forgotten. Yvonne Fernos We remember the life and legacy of Yvonne Fernos, the glamorous actress who graced the silver screen with memorable performances in Michelangelo and Tony Oni's Ellie Amish, Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita, and Roman Polanski's Repulsion, Yvonne passed away at the age of 98 on July 5th at her home in Northampton, New Hampshire, due to complications from a stroke. Her son, Nicholas Natto, confirmed her passing to The Hollywood Reporter, marking the end of a luminous career that spanned decades and left an indelible mark on cinema. Born Elizabeth Yvonne Scatchard on May 11, 1926, in Roubaix, France, to British parents, Yvonne moved to England with her family and attended the prestigious Oxford School S.D. Hilders College and the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, graduating in 1951, adopting her mother's maiden name, Fernos, she began her journey into the world of acting. Her early stage performances included notable roles in Macbeth and The Taming of the True. She soon transitioned to film, making her debut in Meet Me Tonight and Affair in Monte Carlo in 1952. Yvonne's breakthrough came with her role in Antonioni's Ali Amish 1955, followed by her unforgettable performance as Emma in Fellini's masterpiece La Dolce Vita 1960, she also starred in Hammer Horror's The Mummy 1959, alongside Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, learning from these legends the importance of putting one's heart and soul into every role. In Polanski's psychological thriller Repulsion 1965, Yvonne portrayed the older sister of Catherine Deneuve's character, adding depth and intensity to the chilling film. Yvonne's personal life was as rich as her professional one, she married French cinematographer Jacques Natto, whom she met while filming the story of the Count of Monte Cristo in 1961. They remained together until Jacques' death in 2007. Yvonne Fernos, a true icon of cinema, would be remembered for her elegance, talent, and the indelible mark she left on the world of film. Rest in peace, Yvonne.